to the get ready with me video i just wanted to show you what my hair actually looks like in the morning when i wake up this is how crazy i look in the morning look at this oh my god my cat wants to be in everything um <laughs> um yeah so this is how my hair looks in the morning I like I'm like a weirdo I don't know if anyone else does this but like whenever like the the bottom back of my hair starts to get a little bit more frizzy and it starts to lose the curl pattern a little bit I start like twisting it and braiding it so <laughs> so I usually down here have like two pieces that are braided my hair is like all over the place this is actually um, day four hair from the last video that I did with my wash and go without gel um, I'm hoping to get this one up next, so hopefully you'll know exactly what video I'm talking about. But this is day four hair in the morning. This is how I look. And yes, I still have the hair tie in. That's not a good thing, but I'm lazy sometimes. I just want to keep it real with you guys. Like, I'm not perfect with my natural hair routine by any means. But um, yeah, so this is how it looks. And now we'll do the get ready with me video. Enjoy! Hi everyone, it's Aisha Bo here and I'm gonna do my very first ever Get Ready With Me video. I'm really excited to do this, mainly because I've gotten a ton of new subscribers and even for my older subscribers, I have never done a video where I talk about myself, who I am, where I'm from, what I do, and I figured that with a Get Ready With Me, Get Ready With Me video, I'll be able to better connect with you all and just, you know, bring a little bit more personality to my channel so that you all can know a little bit more about me and in turn hopefully you can share a little bit more about yourselves so right now <laughs> i am getting ready to go to meet some friends in brooklyn um one of my girlfriends is turning 30 or she turned 30 and she's having a 30th birthday celebration in brooklyn today just something really chill low-key um, at this beer garden this rooftop beer garden in williamsburg so getting ready and I'm always late, so I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. <laughs> I, I think I gave myself enough time, I don't know, but we'll see. So, I'm wearing my glasses, as you can see. I never wear my glasses in the video, so I'm gonna put some contacts on. And, um, oh, this video is not sponsored by anyone. Um, I'm gonna list some brands and mention some different companies and whatnot, but this video is not sponsored by anyone at all. So, don't worry. If I'm naming off a brand, don't feel like I'm over here trying to steal your dollars. <laughs> I'm just telling you so that you know in case you like these products at all and you want to use them for yourself. So my contacts that I use are from the brand Hubble. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of them, but basically they give daily, con daily contacts. So they send them in a pack of 30 um, for each month. and. They're really good and they're heavily discounted, which is really, really nice because I'm only paying about, I think like, whoops, I'm only paying like 30 something dollars a month for them, which is great because I used to do like 1-800 contacts and whatnot and it was so expensive. Um, so I had to find an alternative and luckily Hubble came around. I've been using them now for maybe like two years, like a little over two years and I don't have any complaints. Um, it took a little bit of getting used to at first because they, I guess they're like a different shape, I don't know, but it took a little getting used to for like the first two minutes when I first um, got them, but now I like them and I'm used to them. So I put my contacts in. So who am I? My name is Aisha Bo Johnson and I am a freelance self-care writer and blogger. Um, I also model and yeah, I have a blog, AishaBo.com, and it's a digital destination for women of color and it covers all things self-care. So I write about beauty, mental health, wellness, all the good stuff um, for my blog. And I do that full time and I also write for different media outlets. Um, I've been writing for close to a year now for this company called Shine and they have, it's an app and they send like motivational and inspirational messages on a day-to-day -day basis. They have different um, meditations that you can listen to to help uplift you and they have a blog component so I write for their blog as well. And then I also freelance write for a bunch of different outlets um, with topics surrounding mental health. 
I used to be a fashion publicist. Um, I was a fashion publicist for about eight years. I Well, right now I live in New Jersey, really, really close to New York. It's about 10 minutes outside of New York. And I used to be a fashion publicist. I used to work with a number of different ready-to-wear and accessories, accessories brands. So ready-to-wear is the fancy term for like fashion, so clothing. And I used to work for a, a bunch of different brands in-house or at an agency and then in-house. So my last job, I was the director of communications for this luxury brand. Um, and I really, really <laughs> had to go down and get these. So I was the director of communications for a luxury brand, and that was my most recent job before I decided to leave the nine to five life. And that was about a year, and a little over a year ago, I decided to go and work for myself and become a freelance writer and write about mental health um, and just focus on my blog and my YouTube channel and all the other things that I want to do for myself. Um, I decided to do that last year and it's been it's been really cool so I wasn't really feeling that fulfilled in my career as a publicist um, I really enjoyed it it was great because I got to put on a lot of different fashion shows and events and I got to work with some really cool editors stylists models um, celebrities and it was like a very cool fast-paced industry and it was cool to like say that I worked in that industry but honestly behind closed doors it wasn't really what I feel like was conducive to my life and who I am just some things that I've heard um, different people say and not wanting to dress certain black celebrities <clears throat> not wanting to dress certain black celebrities or work with certain black um, magazines and editors and stuff like that and I really didn't like that. Um, also my co-workers, I work with a lot of um, white women and they were not the kindest. Very cutthroat, very um, shady, rude, mean, like <laughs> I, I, I can go on and on and on. So I really tried to like push through and you know I'm someone who doesn't give up and I don't let like little office drama or foolishness get the best of me but I literally was just feeling like I wasn't fulfilled so I made the decision um, I actually had like a panic attack in the office and I like called my boyfriend and I was like I just don't know why I'm doing this anymore and he was like you need to just quit <laughs> and I was like all right <laughs> Um, so, decided to quit and decided to just explore my curiosities, explore the things that make me feel good and just find my way um, by doing things that enrich my life on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to pause for a second and right now, so this is not my normal skincare routine. Um, I'm actually trying some products from the brand Pixie by Petra. So they sent me over a bunch of products from their... I know, crazy, crazy packaging, right? From their vitamin C collection. And I feel like right now is a really good time to start using products with vitamin C if you don't already, because what vitamin C does is it helps to like clear the skin from any dark marks. Um, it helps to also give you like a more radiant glow, which is really nice. And you know, in the summer, like, when you have an old pimple and then you go out into the sun, if you don't wear sunscreen or you don't put on the proper amount of sunscreen, you're going to get a dark mark from that pimple on your face. Um, and that usually happens a lot more frequently in the summer months. So I decided to give this line a try um, because I might write about it. So I've been just testing it out now. It's been maybe like, I want to say like a week and a half or two weeks that I've been trying it. And I really like it. I feel like it makes my skin feel really really soft afterwards and it does give my skin a certain glow um i'm waiting for it to start to get rid of <laughs> this this is a dark mark over here that i've been trying to get rid of for a long time so hopefully within the next like week or two weeks um, i'll start to see that clear up a little bit more um, but so far it's good and the line comes with a vitamin c juice cleanser so this is what i used first I don't have those little fancy, like, flat, <laughs> flat cotton things, so I'm using regular cotton balls, okay? I'm not, yeah, I don't have those, and I don't want to waste my money on them when I have this big bag. So, 
can use this, it's really cool because it has like a little push down thingy. So you just push it down out here, go over your face with the cleanser. Um, no need to wash it off, they said to just leave it on. And then this is a vitamin C tonic toner. So toners I think are really important because again, that really helps to, um, it helps to even out the skin tone. So toners are super important, whether it's this brand or another brand, I think it's super important to add that to your skincare routine. I keep looking down because I'm making sure that my camera doesn't die. <laughs> and um, so the toner comes next, and then I just put on the vitamin C serum. So the serum, um, I put that onto my skin, and I'm letting that dry before I go on to the next step. And the next thing that I'm actually going to use is the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen because I'm going to be out, the bar that we're going to is on a rooftop and I want to make sure that my, my face is fully protected. So I'm going to add some of that, I feel like the, the serum is, is dry enough. So I'm going to add a little bit of that and I really like this, um, this facial sunscreen because it doesn't leave my face looking gray afterwards. So I would highly recommend it. Like it's really it's great, um, and it doesn't have like too bad of a, a sunscreen smell. Like you can kind of smell it, but it's not horrible. So, anyways, I decided to leave my job a little over a year ago and work for myself. Um, so far, it's actually you know I've had a lot of hardships and falls and it's obviously been tough financially in some moments but now that it's been over a year what's great is I've kind of powered through and I am now like receiving opportunities and from all the hard work that I've been putting in I'm finally starting to see the benefit of it which is great so um, so I'm really happy with the decision I made and I get to write about some things that are really really important Mental health is super, super, super important to me. Um, I've had anxiety my entire life, um, and I wasn't like officially diagnosed with um, anxiety disorder until I was like 24 years old, and that was when I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> now I know what what's going on with me. So I just get really nervous, um, stressed out very easily, cry at the drop of a dime. Um, and I worry a lot more than the average person. And I used to take medication for it. I don't take medication anymore. I haven't taken medication now for maybe like almost three years or so. And I've been, I've been fine. Um, I'm, and I'm definitely an advocate for medication. So if you need medication for your specific diagnosis, take it, use it. Um, I think that I just got to the point where I realized that I'm okay and that I can you know I can work through it my anxiety is definitely very prevalent still on a day-to-day -day basis but through my own self-care practices and just being patient with myself and um, going to see a therapist I do go and see a therapist every week as expected my camera got full um, so I just had to stop and delete some old videos but anyways I go and I see a therapist every week, which I think is so important, despite the fact that I do have anxiety and I was diagnosed with anxiety disorder. I definitely think that it's important for anyone to find someone that they feel comfortable talking to because it means so much to have that 45 minutes to an hour to just talk about myself and talk about the things that I'm going through and to have someone who really cares and pays attention to what I'm saying to help me through my issues. So, what's next? See, I'm over here acting like I don't know how to get ready because I have a camera in my face. So, now I have done my skincare routine and my skin is, is, is it glowing? Is it glowing? Is it looking good? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Before I get started, I'm gonna put on some makeup. I have my hair in a bonnet, as you can see. So, I got out of the shower and I put, I put my hair in a bonnet when I'm going to take a shower. So. Everyone who follows me is gonna freak out when I say this, but when I go to sleep, I only sleep with a sad pillowcase. I know! Yes, I just let my hair live free as I sleep. <laughs> and, okay, so hear me out. I use a satin pillowcase <laughs> and not a bonnet. Like, sometimes I'll use a bonnet. Like, if I'm on vacation, I will, like, chalk it up or, like, suck it up and use a bonnet. But, I prefer to just sleep on a satin pillowcase because I feel like when I wear a bonnet, my hair 
my hair gets compacted in a lot more and I feel like when I sleep on my satin pillowcase and I wake up my hair is a lot more um, it gets bigger it expands a lot more and I like my hair to be really big uh, I know on my YouTube channel my hair is usually like pretty neat and like straight out of a freshly done style so it's not as big as I really like it but in my day-to-day -day life I really do like um, just like the aesthetic that, that just sleeping on a satin pillowcase gives so that's what I do so everyone who keeps asking me like what do I do to preserve my hair at night I sleep on a really good satin pillowcase the one that I have is by Hollywood Silk Solutions and it was $50 but I've had it now for like three years and it works wonders so I highly recommend it so the foundation that I'm using is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation this is my favorite foundation ever like look at it it, it doesn't look super caked on or like I'm wearing a heavy layer foundation so I really like that and I like that it gives me a nice like dewy look and the next thing that I'm going to add is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I like to put this underneath my eyes because I have these deep set creases that they're, he they're hereditary so there's no way for me to really get rid of them but this kind of helps out to offset how deep they look so I just add this underneath my eyes. Um, so a little bit more about me, I have a boyfriend <laughs> um, and we've been together now for almost three years and we live together. So if you watch my old videos, um, you'll notice that the backdrops, like I used to, I used to do it in front of colorful backdrops and I think there was some where I was in a bedroom and that was my old bedroom because I used to live in Harlem, um, Harlem, New York for those who may not know, and almost two years ago, I moved with my boyfriend in New Jersey. And I am not a Jersey girl, but it's super close to the city, so I'm in the city all the time, pretty much, so it's fine. And our apartment is so much nicer and bigger than my place was in, um, in Harlem, so I'm happy. But one day I want to move back to Harlem in a brownstone. Uh, so what I'm using right now is the right Revitalash High Def Tinted Brow Gel. I just got this from this brand Revitalash. Um, so they do products that help grow back your eyebrow hairs and to elongate your eyelashes. I know, crazy. So I've been using their brow, um, I guess like their brow serum and their eyelash serum for about a week, just a week. So I haven't really seen any difference but I'm curious as to if it works or not. So hopefully it works and I can do a review on that soon. Um, yeah. So for, before I put on any brow gel, I always just brush my brows. Also, I want to note that I am not one of those people who draws my brows on or anything like that. So you're going to have to go to someone else's channel because I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, one day maybe I'll be able to do it, but I like to just keep my look really natural when it comes to my makeup and face look because I gotta do this every single day. I love makeup and so I want a routine that's super fast and easy for me to do on the go. So now I'm gonna get the actual gel. I like to start because this is where it's a little bit more sparse for me. So I like to start here when I'm adding the brow gel in just to get that area a little bit filled in. Then here. And then once we've got a majority of the product towards the end, then I'll go to the front and add a little bit here. And I'll do the same on this side as well. Again, I like to keep my makeup routine super simple. So yeah, my boyfriend and I have been together for almost three years. I love him so much. His name is David. Um, yeah, he's great. We met through mutual friends and hit it off right away. He is literally my person. As I always tell him. And I have a cat, her name is Pepper, who you saw in my little mini clip at the beginning of this video. She is super cute and fun. I love her, but she can sometimes be a little, a little needy. <laughs> so it's just the three of us in our little apartment, and I'm happy with it. I love that. So now that I've let my under eye concealer sit in for a little bit, I'm just going to 
Beauty Blender. And Beauty Blenders are expensive. They're like 20 bucks. So I try to preserve mine by washing it after every single use. What makes it easier to wash is I literally just put it in the shower. So the next time I have a shower, I'm gonna wash it while I'm in the shower, which makes it so much easier as opposed to like, I know sometimes like right after I do my makeup, I might be in a big rush because I'm always late. So at least if I put it in the shower and I get to it later on in that evening, it, it will be washed because in the past I've like, try to stick to washing it right after I use it and I just get too lazy um, or I just like put it away and then never wash it so this helps keep me accountable so the next thing the next thing I'm gonna use is the to set everything just to like you know again like I said I got the deep creases under my eyes so <laughs> I like to do as much as I can to minimize that so I'm gonna add just a little bit of setting powder underneath my eyes and this one is Laura Mercier. Jackie Ina uses this one, so I had to get it. I love her so much. So I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes just to set everything in. Because it also it's a hot day, so I want my makeup look to last. I don't really like bake it unless I'm going out at night. Baking is when you like put a bunch under your eyes and you let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes and then you brush it off. I just like to put a little bit on, set it in that way and keep it moving. Especially since we're just going to a beer garden. I don't want to be too, I'm not trying to do too, too, too much. So I just put a little there. That's all. That's all. How are we looking so far? Okay. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, girl. Okay, so um, I decided to go natural about almost two years. Well, it's been two years since I started transitioning, but it's gonna be two years at, in August. So August 30th will be two years since my big shop. And I'm really excited because I've seen a lot of hair growth. I'm gonna obviously do a two years post big shop update video so you can know like what my methods are and just you know like the products that I've been using and whatnot so the blush that I'm using is the Glossier Cloud Paint and this is my absolute favorite blush and I just I like it because you can just pat it in and it gives you like a very natural look so yeah so I decided to go natural just because my hair it was fine like my hair wasn't damaged to my knowledge but it just got to a point where it grew to maybe about this length and then it stopped. Like it used to be longer, but then it got to the point where it just stopped. And I saw like some, there was a breakage right here. The hair that was in front of my face, it was just like broken right here and there was a little breakage of the crown over here. So I was like, you know what? I've been resisting this for so long. I was one of the last survivors of the relaxer <laughs> in my friend group. And I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chalk it up, I'm gonna suck it up. Why don't you say chalk it up? I'm gonna suck it up and I'm gonna go natural. And the journey, I've actually really, really enjoyed having curly natural hair. This is the Glossier Lash Slick. Um, this is my favorite mascara because it just, it looks so, so, so natural. Like it doesn't clump my lashes together. So I'm obsessed with it. So when I first did my big chop, I was super excited. I didn't feel any emotions as my hair was falling from my head. Um, but it wasn't until I got home, or actually no, it wasn't until the next day. So the stylist who did my hair, she did a really good job with my hair. But then the next day, I tried to do the same thing and I had no idea what to do and I became so frustrated. I've been doing my own hair for a really long time. My mom used to do my hair when I was, in, when I was growing up and all the way through high school. So once I got to college, I knew how to do my own hair because I was used to doing it at home. So this was the first time in so many years that I did not know how to do my own hair as a grown woman and I was just so stressed out and I know that that's an issue that a lot of us go through. So I decided to, I was already on YouTube showcasing my transition, but I decided to showcase you know, my hair after a big chop because I knew that I wasn't the only one going through this. and. 
feeling alone. So I definitely had to get used to the new texture, the new look, the, the way that it made my face look, how clothes looked. <laughs> now that I had a lot more, uh, or now that I had shorter hair. Um, so it was just like redeveloping my way of life in a way and my just perception of myself and my beauty. And I definitely struggled for a little while when I had my hair shorter because I was like, am I beautiful anymore? <laughs> You know, I used to be Aisha with like long hair, blah blah blah, and now I had shorter hair, which was fine. It's completely fine, and I was still the same beautiful, amazing person inside and out, but it was hard for me to see that because I now had a completely different look that I felt I was no longer in control of. And I think that the natural hair journey is definitely a journey to find yourself within and find that self-love because you are literally learning how to work with a texture that we've been told is not good or, you know, you know, not acceptable. So I can go into that all day, but I gotta go. And I'm already late, <laughs> or I'm already running late for the bus that I have to catch. So anyways, I'm gonna do my hair now. So you saw from the last, or the, the little clip that, ah, this is my hair. This is day four from my previous, uh, wash and go that I did without gel. So I can take these little ratchet braids out the back of my neck. So I'm gonna take those out and then <laughs> show you what to do with this. Hold on, I'm gonna have to reposition the camera as well. Hold tight. Okay, so I'm back and as I mentioned, this is day four hair following the wash and go I did without gel. And honestly, I feel like it's holding up pretty well. It might look a little crazy to you right now, but trust me on this. So what I'm gonna do is, I had a half up, half down for the past few days, and I think I'm gonna release it. <laughs> I think it's time that I take it out. So I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna go for like a big look. This is, well hopefully it'll work. If not, I'm putting it right back in the half up, half down. So hopefully. No one told me that Get Ready With Me videos take a long time, because I keep pausing to talk, so it's taking me a lot longer to get ready. Okay, so I took it out, and now I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit, and I'm gonna use some Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Hair Sheen. I usually use their pure hair oil, but the hair sheen works well because it's spray. So I'm gonna spray my hair. Again, this is day four, so <laughs> I'm making do because I don't feel like rewashing my hair, and I feel like there's a little potential with this look right now, so I'm not gonna lose hope in it. So I'm just going to here. There we go. There we go. hands are fully, fully coated in the oil. Awesome. I'm going to play around with these pieces just a little bit because they're a little bit manipulated from being up in a ponytail. So, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit like this. I'm not trying to flat it. I'm just trying to get a lot of oil up there. Okay, here we go. Bring it back up. Okay, and then one thing I also like to do, pick, spray some oil on the pick. Oops, shoot. Okay, good, can't see it, but I sprayed the mirror. <laughs> and then take that, and just go right here. How we looking? How we looking? 
this is big hair. And this is how I really like it. Okay, so finishing touches, I'm going to add some of this essential oil that I got um, in a gift bag. I love gift bags. So if you have a gift bag at your event, I will always utilize the products in it. I don't play. So I like to put this essential oil on my pulse points before I put on any um, perfume because it helps it to last longer. I know when you layer on scents, that's when it helps and like oils help to retain the fragrance. So put that on and then I'm gonna put so again, hopefully my boyfriend's not watching this, but I love this cologne that he has. It's YSL and it's so freaking good. It smells so good. Like, I feel like women, well, not feel like, women can definitely wear it because I wear it. Is the screen blurry? No, it's not blurry. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is definitely a little blurry. From the oil, okay. <laughs> well, hope, let, me, let me go clean that up. All these technical difficulties you know what this happens so anyways <laughs> this is my boyfriend's YSL cologne and it smells so freaking good so I've been using it he probably doesn't even use it anymore because I use it so much but yeah so put on that cologne and then I'm gonna put on my earrings he got me these for Christmas so they're my favorite because they're so easy to wear and I'm also gonna add on some necklaces. I got this set of necklaces from Forever 21. Yep, <laughs> from Forever 21. And I really, really, really like them. They're so cute. And I've been wearing them a lot lately. Well, not too much because I don't want to pull them out, but I've been layering them on and I've been getting a lot of compliments. And also it just looks really nice whenever I have like a low V on like a casual shirt or dress and I have my little gold chains on. I tried to bring it down so you can see the necklace a little bit. So final touch, my favorite thing, uh, red lip. So I usually go really, really casual or light when it comes to my face makeup, but I love to add a bold lip color. That's like my signature. That's what I like to end and look off with. So I just got this lipstick from this brand. It's called, what is it? Merle Norman. I've never heard of them before, but they randomly sent me some lipstick. And I'm gonna try it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna put on my usual lipstick. But I like this because it's kind of like a blue-based red, which is really nice, and I've been looking for a new one. So I'm gonna put this on. Wow, the pigmentation is good. It comes on right away. Hmm. Is this what I'm going for today? I don't know if that's what I'm gonna wear today. It's nice, it's really pretty. Maybe I shouldn't have had so much Vaseline on my lips beforehand. <laughs> Let's, let me see, let me wipe this off real quick. Okay, so I wiped it off. Cause I think, <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear a different red lip today. I liked it, I actually really did like it. I said this, let me see, what does it feel, what does it look like on my hand? Yeah, this is a little too, I'm not really going for the like, glossy red look today so I'm gonna put on a more matte red which I'm sad about because I really like the color I'm just not in the mood for that consistency right now I'm just gonna wear the red that I've been wearing a lot lately and it's a Fenty Beauty one so I'm just gonna put that on because it looks like it's gonna be glossy but wait and then And then I always go in between my lips with some type of tissue paper, whatever, like that, so I can get off any excess because I hate when I have my lipstick on and then I smile and then it gets caught on my teeth. So there we go. So that's it. I'm ready. Um, you know, I should have left like 20 minutes ago, so I gotta go. And that's it. That is the look. I'm ready. I'm. 20 minutes behind schedule for the time to leave so i need to hurry up and go but thank you so much for tuning in to my first ever get ready with me video if you have any questions comments concerns feedback please be sure to leave them in the comment section below i read and i reply to all of my comments trust me so until next time